Hello and welcome back. Uh, after the last battle, um, I did uh, do some inventory management and moving to this sector off screen to pick up, as promised, our final recruit for the time being, which is uh, Manuel. And he is one of the characters from Unfinished Business and a standalone expansion pack to Jack Alliance 2. Um, all the unique NPCs and mercs, uh, well, they were ported to the 113 mod early on because uh, Unfinished Business uses the same game engine and basic file structure as the main game, so it was probably an easy task to accomplish. And we should check out his stats real quick. He is uh, a hunter. Which means he has better proficiency with shotguns and rifles, but not sniper, sniper rifles, the game does make a distinction here. He's also stealthy, so it takes less for him, uh, takes, takes less AP for him to move around and he has a greater chance of remaining undetected by doing so. And on top of that he is also athletic, which uh, well, reduces the APs necessary for any uh, movement action whatsoever, as you can imagine that should mean he should excel at scouting and hit and run attacks. He can get in close, shoot or do whatever for a grenade and then uh, he still has the AP to get out or um, well, move up with a knife and take someone out silently. And as a loner, well, he will be operating alone if he's doing this task and well, he has better performance when he's not in a group. And his other sets are also pretty solid. Experience level 4 is very good, and right now especially. Marksmanship, medical, everything looks uh, very decent, I should say. And as far as equipment goes, well, he does start off with very good uh, camera gear because of his uh, jacket. He does come with a silenced uh, 32 ACP pistol, not the most powerful sidearm round, of course, but what well, is the start? And this uh, over and under hunting shotgun here with, well it only holds two shots but it's the most accurate uh, shotgun in the game. Also comes with a fully interchangeable choke here. At this point uh, what we do have here is an improved uh, modified choke. This uh, gives Buckshot and Flechetti a better range, a uh, tighter grouping basically. Uh, but as I said it's a fully interchangeable and we might want to pick out a rifle choke for slugs later if we can and combine this uh, with a two times scope maybe. And it should uh, provide an accurate and powerful firing platform. At least uh, until we find something better for him with a bigger ammo capacity. Just come with some ammo, well this is good enough for now. And other loot. We did pick up some ammo we can't make use of yet. Uh, I think uh, a couple of AK magazines and some 380 ACP pistol ones. Uh, we also gave the spare M1 carbon to Ivor. Needs to be repaired, of course. But it's a much better uh, solution for her right now, I think, than the Spaz 15, since we don't have the shotgun ammo to spare. And while we're in the area, I thought, well, maybe we should check out a San Mona and see what's going on here and maybe pick up some stripper clips for our new uh, car 98K and uh, perhaps a few shotgun shells would be nice as well. And some Abbe Irgi for Ira if we can. Um, San Mona is an independent town run by, uh, what was his name? I think Peter Klaus or Kingpin, his nickname. And, uh, well, Queen Diana and Kingpin have an agreement, the army leaves him alone and sends uh, his, uh, her soldiers for some armed are here basically booze uh, and hookers. Uh, in return, uh, uh, Kingpin doesn't involve himself with the uh, ins and outs of this country in terms of interfering with the Diana's plans. And it's a neutral town, we can stay here as long as we want, uh, enemy patrols won't path through here, so it could be a stage remote as well if we want to make use of Tony. We could, uh, well, set up shop here, repair guns and sell it, sell them to them for a decent chunk of money. But that's uh, something we might not be doing at this moment, but I should, uh, well, you should at least consider checking out the shops here and maybe gain uh, access to Tony's inventory just to take a look at it. Um, you have to be complete a small quest first. But it shouldn't be uh, too hard to do, I think, so let's get going.
I'm on site and ready. Oh, first sector. Oh, pretty nice actually when when you compare to Omerta. Uh, some hatches here and uh, well maintained buildings, and I think I should maybe take a look around and see what we can find but i don't have to do this while you're watching inventory management this is probably ah, the only part sorry. of san mona you can show on postcards well except for the fire that trashed the view up north everything here is pretty much on the up and up uh, sure looks like it no fire damage to be seen anymore either well well, I think uh, let's take a look through the houses and then move on from there. And uh, I see you once I have uh, uncovered all the items we could use, maybe. So, see you in a moment. Well, it looks like the map designers were quite generous with their item placement, and we found tons of stuff here, especially in the two warehouses we cracked open. There are also some uh, owned items here. Uh, this would be nice, but uh, they're not essential right now. A dart gun with some tranquilizer darts. That could be something for Manu, perhaps. Uh, also a decent sidearm here. And for the Smith and Western ammo. Canteens for some people, some spare medical supplies, uh, some sun goggles and gas masks. They all need a little bit of repair, uh, but they are perfectly usable as they are. I think 70 is the threshold uh, where gas masks um, become ineffective to a certain degree, but 70% up should be uh, fine. Also some, some shotgun shells here, this is excellent. Uh, and some ammo for other guns we are not using right now. Um, there's another thing we can check out in the sector and that is Alberto, one of the bartending brothers. If you have played uh, the vanilla game or the base 113 mod, you will probably recall that as far as uh, NPC traders go, only uh, Troy and Devin's inventories are worth a damn and everybody else will. That's why you have to rely on Bobby Ray so much and can't really live off the land, especially if uh, enemy stopper items is disabled. Well, I did tweak that a little bit to make... Uh, well, this uh, game uh, style a little more uh, feasible. Um, the bartending brothers, well, there is. Uh, Alberto is a general purpose uh, dealer and he does uh, stock what could be considered civilian grade ammo in Oruko. Then one of his brothers specializes in Warsaw Pact uh, surplus and another one in handguns. And we might be able to pick up some 8mm Mauser, maybe some 30 carbine ammo from here. Uh, here. Uh, so we should check it out. Let's see here. The best liquor around. Only number one brand names. Okay, we don't have an M1 Garen right now, but we might pick uh, this up just in case we find one uh, we are good on 38 special ammo right now um, it's 30 Smith and Wesson we found some in this sector so maybe we don't need something to buy it. cool to take off the heat uh, yeah. lock shells we don't need uh, Vinny has been making good use of his uh, locksmith kit I didn't have any problems with that and I think uh, we uh, save the cash right now ah Okay, here's some 8mm Mauser. Let's buy all of it, all the points. Okay, that's great. Um, we could make some Molotov uh, cocktails. So they, you don't really want to carry those into battle because they are quite volatile. But uh, I've been uh, pretty careful with picking our engagements so far, so maybe we should be okay with uh, giving one of those. Looks good, food. yes. It sure does. Yeah, so maybe we can build one or two. Well, let's give that a try. We can always throw them away if we think they're too risky in a certain situation. And maybe the first aid kit. Or so. hmm. well, we can always uh, come back later and pick one up if we need to. And as far as the other ammo goes, there's no need right now. And money is a pretty tight. Uh, hey, the shotgun shots, all right. Uh, slugs and buckshot. Pull it in the back, please. Uh, Shetty. Oh, they don't have armor right now. It's a little pricey, so there's no need, I think. Uh, and it should be fine for now. Yeah, just put don't it in the inventory. It doesn't matter. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. You know what, uh, I'll check out the other sectors and then come back to you with the results because all of this looting and busting open doors, it's really not exciting to watch. Alright, so pickings in the other sectors were not as rich, but that's okay, uh, we couldn't really carry all of it at the moment anyway. If, uh, basically uh, reached the limits of our inventory space, uh, as you can see. Every pocket is bulging basically. Uh, let's see if we can at least remedy that situation a little bit. Uh, Frank here should sell uh, some RBE gear, so let's find out what he has in stock. I'm Frank, keeper of the ale for whatever ails you. Yep, uh, show me your goods please. So what can I get you? A backpack would be good idea. Uh, shotgun shells. Uh, by the way, we do have a full complement of shotgun shells right now. There's certainly no shortage of that. So I might give the Spaz 15 back to Ira uh, and sell off the M1 carbine. Would take uh, quite a bit of time to repair and I'm not sure if we want to uh, well, s do a pit stop long enough to repair all of our gear to full uh, condition. That might not uh, be uh, necessary. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, steel plating. Hmm. Sure, we could we could pick this up for uh, one of the frontliners, uh, Kevlar. Oh. We need at least one additional vest for um, Ira and another one for Vinny. At least uh, something that's some protection, uh, lightweight. Uh, Ballistic West isn't the greatest in terms of protection. Hey, we're open for a while yet. Take your time. Oh, I intend to. As I was saying before, it was so rudely interrupted. Uh, this is a lightweight West, so um, doesn't really have much in the way of uh, penalties when it comes to movement and aiming. What it does offer, though, is a decent uh, amount of camouflage and also some stealth. The stealth modifier. Well, it basically determines uh, how likely you are to be uh, detected while sneaking, how much noise you make. Uh, basically the same as the stealthy trait, just as an item property. And this stacks with other gear. If you play your cards right and select your inventory accordingly, you can get a non-stealthy character um, built up to the point where he is at least not completely useless uh, in night operations if you do intend to sneak around and assassinate people with your silenced pistol or a knife even. Yeah, that's something we might try, though it is still quite risky. Uh, camouflage kits... Uh, that's what we don't uh, have to worry about right now, but woodland camouflage... Hmm, not quite pricey. Maybe you should hold off on that for a moment. And and see if we cannot uh, sell anything to Tony, but uh, that will we have to wait f uh, for a moment. Um, we're also desperately short on holsters, yes, large pistol holster, large. Oh, we don't have uh, any large revolvers yet, so pick up this uh, pistol holster here and maybe the backpack. Uh, inventory belt, we already threw away one of those, uh, they're not of use to us at the moment. Concealable ballistic vest. Hmm. Oh. This is something that goes under, under your battle dress and offers basic protection. Pistol rounds mode for the most part. It's not terrible. Oh, helmet cover. Oh, that's a bit of a luxury item right now. I think we should uh, watch our resources carefully, and especially the cash we have available right now. So let's just pick up these tools. Yep, okay. Uh, just stop it in second. Break up there! Or okay, and then uh, to open yes. up Tony's shop, we first have to hand over this uh, videotape to one of the unruly customers you will uh, meet in a moment. You come here often? You don't want to buy any of the products in this place. I've gotten some really bad rashes. Ah, uh, thanks for the info. Uh, well, you could skip uh, this dialogue, but I think uh, 
why not uh, hear it for flavor's sake? It's actually quite uh, well voice acted, like most of the game. I'm Hans. How can I help you? Man, I tell you, this woman is a pest! You never have nothing, Hans. Your four women by women section is next to empty. You got the same three films, all starring Twin Peaks. She's been dead for more than five years, Hans. Just maybe if you brought back some of the ones you took, the shelves wouldn't look so empty. <laughs> what about ordering some new stuff, huh? Like Titanic, or Bad Jill Humping, or As Sore As It Gets. Oh, the tenth time, they all back ordered. You've been in here for over two hours. You got three films to choose from. Let's step it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just lucky you're the only adult store in this backwoods country. Luckily, we can help out here, so why don't we uh, donate this videotape with... Uh, what was the movie called again? Yeah, the men are away. <laughs> okay, let's do that right away. And then we should be able to uh, ask Hans to move aside and let us proceed to Tony. Oh, Pantsuit Loretta 6. The men are away. I haven't seen this one. Thanks. Oh. That's good. Now she is out of the picture and we have all the time in the world to talk to Hans. Finally, I got to put up with her crap every other day. Always the same story. Nothing but complaints. Uh, wish I still had my bike shop. But that business went belly up when the queen cut off the fuel supply. Okay, now that she's out of the way, I got a feeling you aren't here to buy marital aids. Nope. <laughs> Tony is in the back. I'm sure you'll be satisfied with his selection. By the way, we could have bypassed the entire uh, conversation by shooting out this window and then jumping through it. Uh, the town doesn't get aggressive with you if you do that. But, uh, you know... As I said, the dialogue is for a voice acted, and I think you uh, should have enjoyed it a little, little bit, I hope. At least appreciated the uh, quality of the recordings. Okay, let's see it. It's probably owned, so let's leave it alone for now. Yep, that's Tony. Yes. The selection this time of year is excellent. Man of few words, but he is your main supplier of uh, weapon and ammunition in Oruko. Also, he has uh, $15,000 per day available to him uh, for trading, so he can sell guns and uh, related accessories to him. For uh, well, It could be a main source of income, uh, especially in the early parts of the game. We might rely on him for a little bit, at least until we can supplement our income by taking over uh, two or three mines, ideally. Um, we, we also have to train militia, which is of course also an expense we have to keep in mind, so let's see what he has. Point out what it is you are interested in. Yeah, not much uh, to speak of right now. Uh, mostly Kunis 1 and 0 stuff. Uh, item progression, I should say. Yeah, some old pistols and submachine guns, but we are in need of something automatic. Uh, if not for nothing else, uh, then suppression. Uh, shotguns, we do have some buckshot uh, available. This is excellent for suppression, but of course not fully automatic, and these M1 carbines, uh, well, they are only semi-automatic, and it doesn't do too much in terms of suppression. Uh, can get too many shots now, uh, out per turn, only two or three at best, and it just doesn't do. Even such an old SMG like this, uh, when you fire off a burst, you don't hit anything, or it doesn't really matter, you suppress the enemy. They are still pretty low experience-wise, so they are easily scared. Maybe we should pick this up. We do have some guns we could sell to him. Uh, let's do a perhaps next. Yep. Let's do a quick uh, rundown here of what we could sell. Uh, we have found a spare shotgun. Uh, we don't need this. The grenade wise, we are pretty uh, set up right now. Found uh, another badge in a warehouse somewhere. Uh, pistol has enough ammo. Yeah, Ira should keep the shotgun, we don't need to repair it, and we found some uh, buckshot for it, that's fine. Uh, do we want to hold out to these, to these pistol magazines? Um, 
Well, we could use uh, sidearms for some of these people, but uh, well, we can easily uh, encounter an another drop of these, I think. Okay, this we don't need right now. Could, well, maybe we should hold on to the 12 gauge shells, depending on how uh, quickly we expand them. Um, this one we definitely want to keep, and this sidearm also. Yeah, we bought a holster for him. Also found some glazer ammo for it. Why not we switch it out right away? And yep, it should be decent for him. Um, these grenades we can't really carry because of a lack of inventory space. It, well, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, throwing knives. Yeah, we found one spring and another tool kit and another med kit so we don't have a backpack yet so we have to carry these around in this combat pack um, yeah i th think yeah, i think that's all for now get this in your hand to sell off and then maybe take a look at another look at his inventory and see if we can pick up some uh, mauser ammo perhaps uh, also this bipod doesn't go on anything right now so we just have to leave it behind probably we can always uh, come back and pick it up later uh, i don't want to um, explore them all fully right away as oh well, there is uh, a good number of quests here rewarding experience and uh, also a little of money if you're feeling uh, adventurous but I think we should uh, well, leave some of it for later after we've taken Dresden I think uh, okay let's point see. out what it is you are interested Pick in up the submachine gun and some ammo for it uh, if we do sell any uh, I think there were also some 9.19 magazine in the sector east of here Ah, uh, we don't need this. Um, AR suppressor, no. Maybe a utility knife? But we do have a locksmith kit, which should be fine with this. Mm. Muscle break, maybe a small scope if you have one. Yeah, that's for an AK. We don't have a compatible uh, firearm compatible with that at the moment. Rifle scope five. The selection 5. this time of year is excellent. Five point five times magnification would be uh, too much, I think. Or we could put it on the car ninety eight K, perhaps. Since he doesn't have the Z uh, F forty two, this is a uh, scope specific to the car ninety eight K in terms of attachment compatibility. It's also it is okay. Take your time. It's also very cheap. It's only two hundred dollars if I recall correctly. Um, as I said, money is tight, so we should not spend too much of it. Suppressors. Um, but I think we can manage without right now. So let's get hmm. these items. Let me see what here. we have here. There is value to this. I will pay a fair price. Could also switch out this uh, sidearm because it's only 32 ACP, but it's in perfect condition as is the suppressor. And we don't want to have to repair too many items if we can help it. So maybe. Yeah, I think this is fine. We keep the shotgun shells for now. Okay, get this in your hand. Very good. You know where to find me if you are interested in doing more business. Yep, we will. And then let's go and pick up these SMG magazines from the other sector, if I recall correctly, they were here. Yeah, just a handful, but that um, might last us at least one or two battles. Also, don't forget to pick up our fancy new items here. Uh, Gary is a frontliner, so he should get the steel plating. Um, I would really like to take these grenades with us, but we don't have the space and the only backpack uh, Frank was selling isn't compatible with any combat pack, so we would be, uh, wouldn't gain too much in terms of inventory space, unfortunately. Uh, could you take yeah, another mini grenade here and uh, smoke grenades are always useful no matter when you are fighting in the campaign. 
unlike uh, tear gas and mustard gas because the enemy tends to uh, be equipped with gas masks as the campaign progresses because it's a fairly uh, low cool this item okay well let's pick up this well it's still not enough inventory space maybe we should just buy the backpack and deal with it I think so okay let's yes. just buy that stupid backpack so what can I get here yep uh, maybe one of those leg wigs as well yeah pretty cheap why not Okay, shotgun holds. Uh, let's for a sort of shotgun and some shells. Uh, yeah, Ira also needs a vest, and that's the best one you have on offer right now. Okay. Break up there! Yep. Okay, just put it in the sector inventory, and then we will decide what to do with it. Okay, uh. Well, actually, I can do this off screen again. You don't have to watch it. It's probably not that interesting uh, and I don't want to bore you so I'll see you in a moment. Alright we should be good to go now. Uh, in case you want to see a quick run on here of what I did uh, basically gave Gary the backpack because he is the strongest one of our mercs. Uh, it's unfortunately not compatible with this uh, combat pack. So we just have to, as soon as we enter combat, he has to drop this and get his grenade panel on. I think, uh, I think that should be alright for now. And he also got the steel plating, because he's a frontliner and can use the additional armor. Then Ira is back to his Bass 15, because it's in good condition and has plenty of ammo now. Also some grenades, uh, thanks to the basic LBE gear and the 38 special revolver as her sidearm. Also some uh, wooden camouflage here. And Manuel still has the same loadout as before, but I did find and put a two times scope on it. Uh, that should have uh, increased its accuracy by uh, quite a bit, at least in practical terms. So we will see how it goes. Also very reliable firearm as you can see. Doesn't need to be repaired all that often. Uh, another wooden camo uh, camouflage kit for him, although he doesn't necessarily need it. Uh, base camo 78 is really quite excellent. Uh, Scream got the uh, Beretta M12 with the ammo for it. They didn't have to buy any additional uh, magazines, thankfully. Uh, and also this uh, car 98K for longer range engagements, but both of which need repairs. Uh, we will have to address that before we head on to Drassen. Maybe a pit stop over Merta uh, and rest there for a couple of hours, do some repairs and then move on. Oh, we'll see about that in a moment. Uh, I also sold both of the basic M1 carbines and transferred the Magal to Vinny. It's the better firearm in terms of attachment as well. So, uh, yeah, and he also got his better 92F as a sidearm. Uh, in case he has to do some quick draw duels, I suppose. Uh, Glazer ammo should be fine for now. Uh, of course, once they start wearing a uh, Kepler vest, it's not gonna be much use, but for the moment it should do. Also, plenty of ammo here. Uh, 30 shots each per magazine, that should last him a long time. I did consider picking up the Kevlar vest for him, but it's just too expensive. Uh, can't really afford it at the moment, yeah. For all the other stuff we have to come back, unfortunately. Um, we simply cannot carry it. Uh, it's in a room we are all packed to the brim, so to speak, already. So uh, I did consider going to Jetsina uh, next as I have discussed in the previous video, but I don't think I will do this this time around. So let's head on back to Omerta, rest up, do some repairs. Probably not alongside the road. We don't want to encounter additional resistance until we get there. This sector should always be free of enemies. Roger. So, yeah, rest up here maybe, and then sneak our way north of the airport. Uh, rest up for an hour or two, and then attack. But I think we should uh, do this in the next video. Oh, sorry that there wasn't a fight here, but uh, Salmona is worth exp exploring, I think. And I thought you might find it uh, enjoyable to um, well, 
what we do a little bit of inventory and uh, the fault process that goes into it. I think it's also an important part of this uh, let's play or Jagged lines in general. So when we come back, I will probably start off here and uh, with the attack on the Dresden airport. So, well, as always, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.